Hi guys, this is Ratchet Zero, and we are playing Criminal Case, and we are about to go on case number 7 in Sahara region, and yeah, it's World Edition still, well, I only passed the first district or just a continent, this is a World Edition, we passed Europe, and now we are going for Morocco, so let's go. Murder by proxy, yeah, it's the same dart our sheep was shot shot with I think so and who is this guy anyway I can't re I don't know if it's uh, some familiar face because I I can't put him somewhere uh, where I see him already but no where, no matter what okay got yeah what a Castro with Chief Ripley dead we have no one to command this she what will we do I still can't fathom who the want to kill her she was such a strong intelligent woman the best the Biru has ever seen we are doomed whoa calm down Ingrid Read, Archer, I didn't hear you come in. I was just having a chat with Katrina. I saw that. Figured Katrina could use some backup. Anyway, now that we are in Morocco, we don't have a second to waste. We must go after Ripley's killer. We know the orange dye on the dart that killed the sheep comes from a poppy flower native to Morocco. Meaning the killer is here, or was here recently. It's not much, but it starts. The U.S. Embassy is granted assistance for investigation. Your contact is Adam Hassan, the military attaché to the ambassador. Mr. Hassan is waiting for you on the docks. Katria, I'm counting on you to bring the ship's crew to justice. You got it. But I think this guy is going to get killed because every time we mention some someone before starting the crime scene, first crime scene, then he gets killed. It's how it goes in criminal case. <laughs> okay. Let's investigate the docks. Oh, okay, there he is in a boat. Oh, I think it's the same dart the sheaf was killed with, so... Okay, your cell phone, and we need to unlock it. What the fuck, have you let? Jesus. Okay, we got everything. Katia, the man in the fishing boat looks just like our counter. Please tell me he's sleeping. Or drunk. I hate to say that, but he's dead. I can't believe it, our contact's dead. All for all the rotten luck. You're right, Katia. Adam has a dart in his neck that looks exactly like the one that killed Ripley. Not only is our contact dead, but now we got a double homicide on our hands. The question is, who'd want them both dead? The cell phone you found is a good place to start. Can you unlock it, Katia? This charm you found here, the body has a message on it. I'll, I'll get your dusty kit so you can take a closer look. Alright, Katia, we got two murders to solve. Let's do this for Ripley. You got it! We'll do! Okay, let's <clears throat> start the out of sea. 18 hours, and I need some stars. I thought I had stars, I was going like this. Uh, that's because I collect all stars on every case, so I'm just gonna collect some stars here, so... Still a bit. Okay guys, I collected seven stars. I kind of I had a lot of energy here, so I spent it all on this collecting stars, but I left half of it to investigate this uh, second crisis we're going to get. So, okay. DB6 uh 7 EM. Yeah, it's his phone. Oh, he's got a miss call from Abbasador Stern. Good job of locking the phone you found on the docks, Katria. Clearly, it belonged to the victim. The victim has 10 missed calls from a certain ambassador Stern, who apparently... Can someone tell me why Adam isn't answering his phone? I call him a million times. Really wanted to reach him? Uh, ambassador Stern? Yes? Who are you? And where is Adam? He's not answering his phone. I'm Jack Carter, and this is Corporal Katria. Adam is dead, and we'll need to ask you some questions. Okay... Well, you called him a lot, so... Why did you call him that much, huh? Okay. Oh? What's this supposed to be? Great work on that charm you found at the docks, Katia. Now if you could figure out what those symbols on the bottom mean. 
You're right. Strange eyeball charms and bizarre writing writing are double special specialties. Yeah. Let's send this to our nerd guy or just a historian. Because I like that one too. <laughs> okay, now let's go talk to Jessica. I can't believe Adam is dead. I knew something was up when he didn't bring my favorite dates from the souk around the corner. He does it every morning. As you know, Shift Ripley was killed by the same type of dog that killed your attache. That's quite a coincidence, don't you think? What are you implying, Corporal Katia? That That it's the Empress's fault? No, Corporal Katia and I were just saying. This isn't our fault. This is the Beery's fault. You couldn't keep your Shift alive and now you killed my military attache? Go away before you cause any more trouble. Jesus Christ, woman. That was not a sort of actually imply it's our fault the Shift is dead. Who does she think she is? Uh, soulful. She's so selfish, so she must have she mentioned something about Adam going to the nearby souk every morning. A lead is a lead. Let's check out the souk. Okay. Okay, I'm already beginning to dislike that woman. Okay. Let's investigate souk. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, colorful basket. Do I need it? Yeah. Uh, watermelon. Uh, torn photo. Yeah, I need that. Uh, chest. Uh, eagle. And a key. There. Of all the things here, you pick up a torn photo. Whatever you say, Katia, I see your mind is set. Let's just restore it. That basket you grab is more my kind of clue. Let's have a look inside. <laughs> okay, that's something you can do. <laughs> okay, first let's do this photo. Let's see what's it going to be on the photo. Okay, yeah, it's supposed to be this guy and someone else. She's out of background. I can only see her half face. So, crafty work in the photo in front of Soup, Katrina. It shows her waiting with some woman at the beach. Unfortunately, the woman's face is cut off. If only people took these as selfies, at least by the stick. Why don't you run that woman's face through the database, Katrina? Eh, uh, you know I can do anything. <laughs> okay, now let's see what's hiding in that basket. Oh. Interesting. Oh, we need to restore that. Rocket device. You found some rocket pieces in the basket? We could be onto something if you repair it first. Yeah, <clears throat> it's gotta be something. Spiky and short. Oh, nice hair. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, let's do this photo now. Let's see who's that woman. No! This one. No! Oh, I didn't start well. No! Fuck. Christy Mattis. Nice to duck there. The woman in the selfie with our video is called Christy Mattis. According to her file, Chris is an American living in Morocco on a student visa. Since Chrissy was close to our victim, we need to question her. I'm sure the embassy can help us find her. Okay. Now let's do this broken device. Let's see what's this supposed to be. Oh, binoculars. Right? You're right, the thing in prayer does look like a pair of high-tech binoculars. Let's send them to Elliot. Well, looks high-tech, so... <laughs> Nine hours? And... I need one more star to talk to this woman. Well, happily, I just went on the next level. Level 23, and my energy bar is now full. So, I can collect some star here on this type attack, so... I'll see you a little bit. I got a star, so let's go talk to Christy. I can't believe I was dead. 
How sad. We found a photo of the two of you on a beach. We take it you were friendly. We dated for a while, little while, but it wasn't serious. We ended a few weeks ago. He was nice, charming, and of course, handsome, but I was getting distracted. I needed to concentrate on my studies. That's why I'm here after all. So I broke up with him. And did you see him after that? We ran into each other at the souk. We tried to talk, but it was awkward. And I will never talk again. Miss Mattis, you can't blame yourself, but please stick around in case Corporal Katia has more questions. Okay. And I'm gonna wait for those three else to finish still a bit. And we are back, so let's see. It's the same dart, is it, huh? Salam, Katria. Isn't Morocco just beautiful? I wish the kids were here to see it. If only we were here under better circumstances. So sad what happened to the sheaf. Yeah, and now we got a, another murder to solve besides Ripley's, one that seems awfully close too. Keen observation being that both brothers are indeed exactly alike. He really was killed by the same type of poison blow dart used on Sheaf Ripley, identifiable by the orange feather tail. The blow dart is a murder weapon, Katarina. However, this time the kill was sloppy. The electricity of Crocus Sativus, commonly known as Saffron, all over the dart. So our killer eats Saffron? If only that wasn't in every dish here. Sorry, Katia, you're right. We need to track down this killer before they can die on another murder. Okay. What's Saffron supposed to be then? I don't know, so... Okay, Dapod, what do you got to say about this amulet? Katria, it's comforting to see you again. I'll disconsolate at the loss of our sheath. Quell Domage, please let me know what I can do to help. Well, you can tell us about a weird charm we found at the docks. The one with the eye and strange writing on it. Ah, we! Oui. You mean this cursed amulet? Quite an intriguing artifact. Cursed amulet? Who believes in curses? Apparently, your killer does. This is the evil eye, or Ayn al Ahasud in Arabic. Many cultures believe that it's a curse caused by a malevolent glare, causing the receiver misfortune or injury. Well, our victim was dead. That's as injured as you can get. What's fascinating is the script attached onto the amulet. I discovered it's an ancient form of Arabic, dating back to the Nabataean Empire of 2nd century BC. It wasn't easy, but I managed to translate the message. An eye for an eye. Quite fitting, don't you think? Sarkir knows ancient Arabic. Well, Katia, that should limit our search. Arabic. <laughs> okay, sorry if I said that with the wrong accent. Whatever. Let's uh, check what those high-tech binoculars are. Hey Katria, how are you not melting? It's 100 degrees here. What are you complaining about? You never go outside. Funny. I guess you want to know about the binoculars you found in the basket at the souk. So they are binoculars? I knew it. Well, Katria knew it. Did you find anything on them? Uh, yeah. They are digital recording binoculars capable of shooting both video and still images with rigged high def and 3D technology. Although they were pretty beat up, I was able to extract a safe photo from the memory card. It's a photo of your victim. A photo of our victim? That means someone must have been following him. But who? One step ahead of you, Archer. These binoculars are pricey and in limited production, make it easy to track them. This particular pair was military issued to a soldier named Jonah Karam. He went rogue, left the military a while back, binoculars in hand. So this kind of guy was stalking out, out our victim? I wonder what he'd want with Adam. And yeah, let's go smoke this rogue soldier out from wherever he's hiding. Okay. Okay, new guy to interrogate, so... Let's go talk to Jonah then. Jonah Karam, I'm Agent Jack Archer and this is Corporal Katria. We got a few questions regarding the murder of Adam Hassan. Adam's dead? What do you want with me? I didn't kill the man. You were following him. We got proof. The question is, why is an ex-military following an embassy attaché? I was paid to follow that guy. It's my job. So you hired gun? That makes you suspect number one. Ain't chest you'll tell us who hired the spy on our victim? I already told you all I know. I was paid to follow a target. That target happens to be dead. I guess my job here is done. Your job might be, but ours isn't. Stay close by for further questioning. Just not too close cause you're kinda of scary. <laughs> Fuck, I'm not gonna sneeze. Back at Bury headquarters. 
Yeah, I'm glad to be back where there's air conditioning. It's hot out there. Well, it's Africa, of course it's hot. Katia, what are you doing back here so soon? Did you find the sheep's killer already? Hey, we are taking it step by step. We're not in a hurry, so... Ingrid, Katia, I are just about to go to case notes. We don't have time for pleasantries, archers. What do you have? Jesus Christ, calm down, woman. Jeez, okay. We know the poison dart used in Adam's murder was the same kind used to kill the sheep. We just don't know how else the cases are linked. We found our victim's ex, they were dating, but she broke up with him because she wanted to study more. We also met Jonah, rogue soldier come hired gun. He was paid to follow Adam, but that's all we know because that's literally all he told us. Ambassador Stern is one morning date away from a dip diplomatic meltdown. Have you met that woman? And we still... Hey Katria, don't want to interrupt the Archer's award winning monologue there, but I got some information for you. I think I know why your victim was killed. Oh, so you know a reason why, huh? I guess we are going to find out in next chapter. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like to this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!